So from Philip Watson, brand new today, this is the Invincible Hydrangea Live Plant. This is one of Philip's most beloved hydrangeas, and he's bringing it to us for the very first time. Why does he love it so much? Well, he can give you all the reasons, but I'm going to guess it has something to do with those huge, spectacular, hot pink pom-poms that come the first year bloom all year and then every year after that. Five easy payments of just $5.65 with free shipping and handling. So if you've been already planning your garden, think about what's out there in the hydrangea world. Maybe you already have an idea. You know that for a rare variety, a hard to find variety, this is a phenomenal price. And I want to show you, and we're going to say hello to Philip, but what you're going to receive from us. This is a big one gallon pot. So here it is, you're getting this, a big one gallon pot. So we're not starting with this tiny little baby plant, you're getting a big one, and then the very first year, so this year, it will completely mature for you and get even bigger than this. I wanna say hello to my dear friend, Philip Watson. Not only is he a friend to all of us here at QVC, he is one of the most brilliant minds, I think, working today when it comes to designing spectacular gardens. So Phil, I always say, Philip does it, it must be right. <laughs> and Philip, <laughs> hi honey, yes. I know that this is one of your favorite hydrangeas. Yes, I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, I design gardens all over the place. I may be from the deep south, but I, uh, made a name for myself in the far north, the frigid north. And uh, people are always wanting to have a pink hydrangea in the far north. This is your chance. How would you like to have a hydrangea where the blooms are always pink, that it blooms every year, regardless of how bad the winter was? See, you're trying to grow southern hydrangeas in the in the far north, and it just doesn't work. And Invincible Ruby is the one that works. And I just love these, whether they're in containers or in the ground, it has a naturally rounded habit. It blooms on new wood, which means you can cut it down to say like a foot and a half tall every fall or during the course of the winter and expect it to bloom like crazy at three and a half to four feet every single year. That's a nice and size. The color. That three yes. and a half, half to four feet, that's a size where you can really sneak some color in there, get the big pom-pom effect without it taking over the garden. And Philip, I'm looking at this one and it is going crazy here. Here's a new mop head ready to come up. So it's yes. gonna start this color, but this is very, very shortly going to turn into this bright pink and then it will still pretty much stay bright pink, right? Well, Until the that's end. that's yeah. the trick, is it? And I'm gonna show you something in just a moment. Um, you know the hydrangea paniculatas like limelight that I have offered before that yes. start off white. Now, let me just show you that because I dry them. This is what that looks like. It starts off white, then it goes to kind of a dusty rose, which is beautiful. Right. This is beautiful. These also get about eight, nine, ten feet tall. So it's too big for some gardens. Look at this. And let me just come around here. Is that dried? Yes. Oh this my gosh, dried. it kept the color but even dry. Yes. And what I wanted to show you is that you've got the ruby colors. You've also got the cotton candy colors down in there too. Also, the individual petals are smaller. It's more delicate looking, just fabulous. You can plant it in front of your large hydrangea paniculatas. And if you live in Maine, oh you can gosh, grow this and this. expect to have beautiful flowers all summer long. If you live down in Mississippi, same deal there and look how good looking the foliage is. I think I want to get one just so I have some dried hydrangeas <laughs> for $28. I couldn't go to a floral shop and get that. Um, they are going very quickly. You're seeing this for the first I love time. These. New today, over 500 have been ordered. We do not have an unlimited supply. Philip, tell me again. So there are these bright pink. That's what makes this unique, but it's also the yes. way it grows. Who's able to grow this that makes it unique. If for anyone who's had trouble with hydrangeas in the past, Philip, this might be the one that turns it around. Well, this is your chance to have the pink one because people are saying, well, why didn't my hydrangeas bloom uh, this past summer? And it's because you had a really hard winter and it killed the buds. That is not true of this variety. This is an arborescence variety, extremely cold hardy. And if you know the white one called Annabelle, this is a pink version of that one that is nice and compact. 
it will always be pink. It doesn't matter what the pH of the soil is. It's not gonna be blue, it's not gonna be lavender, it's not gonna be murky looking. It will always be this ruby and cotton candy look for you in the garden on nice long stems. I just have a little short one here, but you have nice long stems for flower arranging. And if you've got the tall hydrangea paniculatas, this is something to plant in front of those. So you got the pink at the base, you get the white that goes dusty rose by the end of the season up higher. And I just love them. I wouldn't I be without it. these because they don't disappoint. It's so great. So here's here's what I want you to know. You know, I was actually just down at a garden center the other day because I had to pick up um, a tool. I won't bore you with that. But anyway, I made it my business to go see what they had in terms of plants because I like to comparison shop for you all. I have to tell you, it's slim pickings. And what's out there, I've seen it before. I've done it, I've seen it, I haven't loved it. My neighbor already has it. This is something special. And it's special at a price that in many cases beats the local store. But you don't have to go to yes. the local store. We send it right to you. We even do free shipping and handling. We are now down to 3,500. That is it, 3,500 for the out. entire year. Philip, first of all, Look. The plant that you're going to send to us is already yes. one of the largest plants we send out here at QVC. It is a full one gallon pot. So to get that with free shipping and handling and not have to spend like $75 to get free shipping or something <laughs> on your order, that's pretty spectacular. But what's even yes. better is I get a mature hydrangea this year for everyone who maybe has that's a correct. new house or that spot where they want wow. We're not waiting till year three to have something that's cool. Well, what I love about this is, is with Philip Watson Designs, my big deal was to offer big deal plants. In other words, we're gonna have larger plants, not small plants. And if you're a first time gardener, you don't know how to baby a little plant until it gets big. I'm already sending you out something that's gonna get mature this year. That's the trick. This is the best of all the pink hydrangeas. If you live in the North and you're worried about not having pink hydrangeas, Stop worrying and start ordering because this invincible ruby is that. It's not dusty rose. So it cool. truly is ruby and cotton candy. They're just, they're going to rock your garden. And uh, the dark green foliage that backs it up, yeah. it's a nice, tidy plant. They're just fabulous. So, Philip, I have a question for you before we wrap this yeah. up. So, and actually, this is going so quickly. I don't know how many more times you're actually going to be presenting this. You might have a one and done, my friend, with this one for the year. Okay. Um, so, Philip, really quickly, I'm thinking with this bright, great pink, this is a pink that plays well with so many other color themes in the garden. Like if you have soft pastels, it'll give it some life. But this is one that will even I tell me if I'm wrong, Philip, but I would even work this with like some bold yellows, like a black eyed Susan or something like I feel like this is the almost chameleon color for when you pull together your palette. Well, keep this in mind. This will be four feet tall and it blooms all summer long. So you can mix in your yarrows with this. You can, if you've got cannas, if you've got sun patient, all of it, everything will mix with this color. It's a rich color that is often seen in brocade things. Uh, so I, I love the color because it mixes so well and the flower heads are so nice and big. The stems are long and it comes back every single year. The plant's gonna rock this season. You don't have to baby it. Just give it full sun to part shade. And it doesn't matter what the pH of the soil is. It will always be the beautiful ruby color. Um, can I give everyone a little tip? I got this last year for the first time. This is the Philip Watson's um, all-purpose time-release fertilizer. What's really nice about this is you don't even need to mix it with water, so I can be a little bit of a lazy gardener, and I like that I could just scoop this out, sprinkle it in, and be done. So I really recommend this. $20, totally worth it. Okay, as far as yes. this beautiful beauty, we started with more than five thousand of these spectacular pink pom-pom hydrangeas we now have fewer than 1700 remaining there are lots of people on the lines and a lot of people buying more than one so i'm telling you this could sell out right now in this show and then that will be it for the season philip thank you so much my pleasure it's nice to be teacher's pet first up <laughs> <laughs> philip you're a delight <laughs> I love Philip Watson. He's so talented. You always have that friend.